Hi, I'm Jeff Gonzalez, president of Trident Concepts, and today I'm here with Brownell's Daily Defense to talk to you about summer EDC. All right, so a lot of us probably live in a hot climate. Um, I was fortunate to live both in Arizona and I currently live in Texas, so heat is something that I'm familiar with. What I tell people about concealing in these hotter climates is that the most important thing that you do is to be comfortable because it is really irritating being hot and sweaty and having to deal with carrying concealed. Um, so the first thing that we talk about is handgun selection. You may not be finding as much success with the larger frame or the, even the mid-size frame guns because your clothing that you're wearing is probably pretty, pretty light. Uh, we're wearing lighter clothing because it's so hot. Whatever handgun you select for your summer carry, some of the things that I talk about are, you know, realize that there's going to be give and take. It might be a compromise. You might need to carry something a little bit lighter because the probability of your, your body perspiring, your shirt getting heavier, and then printing is a little bit higher. Then there is your clothing selection. You will need to start to consider clothing options. Like in the summer months, we like to wear polyester a little bit, the, you know, like the light athletic shirts that are a little bit thinner. They're great. They're cooler. They dry fast. So when you're sweating a lot, they don't keep that sweat. So that's good. But the bad is that they're so light that they have a higher probability of printing the firearm underneath. And what we mean by printing is giving uh, an indication of the outline of the object underneath. Another consideration would be improvised weapons. When we're carrying in the summer months, we're typically in a lot, you know, a lot less clothing. You may be in swim trunks going to the beach. You might be out in the middle of the lake on a paddleboard. You might be doing other types of activities where you're just not wearing a lot of clothing. So what are some of your improvised weapons? If you haven't thought about that, that might be something to keep in mind. One of the things that you also have to address is the care and maintenance to this extreme environment. So again, in an extreme heat environment, what you're dealing with is you're dealing with a lot of perspiration, a lot of body sweat. And I hate to make this kind of icky, but some bodies, the pH balance of their sweat is really caustic to the metal of the frames and the slides of the guns. So you're gonna probably have to do a little bit more maintenance. The body sweat also can increase the possibility of rust, but it can also do other things to the gun's internals. So taking more care during the summer months because of the added perspiration and the potential for pH balance and all the crazy that goes along with that is probably something that you're going to need to put a lot of thought into. What does that really mean? Well, probably keeping the gun well oiled and lubricated to protect against that is a pretty important thing. When it comes down to it, again, summer months typically mean less clothing, you might need to consider other carry methods. And that's where off-body carry can kind of come into the equation. I may not be able to carry on my body because of the swim trunks that I'm wearing, but I might be able to carry in my pack or my backpack or other bags that I might be carrying. So just because you may not be able to carry it on your body, doesn't mean that you can't have it close or easily accessible. So these are some considerations when we move into the summer months or when you live in a predominantly hot environment. I'd love to hear your questions or comments. Please feel free to post them down below. Until then, take care and stay safe.